in California, it, almost certainly there will be a ballot proposition. The route that's been taken in all the states so far is through ballot initiatives, uh, which is a kind of a blunt instrument for policy making because someone writes the initiative and you vote up or down. There's not a lot of negotiation. It's very difficult to make revisions. There's so many details that have to be thought through and worked out. The most likely model for California, based on what reformers want, is going to be closely modeled on Colorado's. One of the things that Colorado failed to get under control was the open display and the packaging of these edibles and candies. And I think it's really bad public health and I think it's really bad politics. The um, correlational evidence for linking marijuana use and the frequency of marijuana are getting more serious, especially dependency, about 1 in 10 marijuana users will get into a prolonged period that meets psychiatric criteria for dependency. Um, and importantly, a lot of these people will say they wish they weren't using so much. The problem is that all these correlations seem to be getting stronger in recent years. And um, it may be because of changes in methodology, it may be because of changes in the potency. In, in moving to a legal regime, we need to think about how we're gonna handle all these issues. And I think that actually uh, the political situation for marijuana reform is much more fragile than reformers realize. Colorado has this tax model that taxes by price rather than by weight and certainly not by, by THC. If you're going to regulate a product, you have an opportunity to try to shape the market. And um, I think if it turns out that in fact higher potency marijuana is associated with greater health harms, as much of the evidence is starting to suggest. Taxation is one tool for trying to shape that by encouraging um, lower potency products. Both reform movement and the state governments have a shared interest in having sort of a sustainable model of legalization that will hold up under scrutiny. And I think the, the, um, the big issues that need to be addressed are uh, dealing with marijuana potency, dealing with edibles, especially brightly colored packages that are attractive to children. These are manageable solutions, but they are easier to implement before a proposition gets written than afterwards. And I think the longer you wait to, to deal with some of these issues, the harder it is to figure out how to to deal with them. So I'm hoping California will really start thinking now ahead of time that people will um, have a conversation about what we want marijuana reform to look like.